I hope all of you are doing well. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. Here we are looking at the surface area formula for a sphere, but we will do everything by means of parametric equations. The variable t will be that parameter. The third variable we will bring into the picture from 0 up to pi. Square root 1 plus dy over dx whole square with respect to dx. If you start here with a unit circle, any point on the unit circle, and t is our parameter, this point can be r cosine t and r sine t. You know we determined this from our right triangle. Here's my t in terms of the angle x, y, and r. That's exactly what it is. Let's look right here at this arc length formula and bring in the parameter. We're looking here from a to b, square root 1 plus, I have a dy over dx whole square. I'll bring the parameter in terms of dt, and you're seeing what I'm doing. dy over dt whole square divided by dx over dt whole square and I have a dx over dt with respect to dt. These will cancel out, but the dt will come in, don't you worry. Do a common denominator and work on this. From a to b, I'll have a dx over dt whole square. All of this is in a root, plus dy over dt whole square. This common denominator, which is dx over dt whole square, can be brought under its own radical by means of properties of radicals and dx over dt whole square and square root. In essence, the square root and the square cancel each other out. You have a dx over dt, and here you have a dx. Flip this around, you'll have a dt over dx. These will cancel out. Now everything has been modified such that you have a dt variable. Initially, the arc length formula with regards to dx is now with regards to dt. How do I know what all of these values are? Well, you have them right over here. If x is equal to r cosine t and y is equal to r sine t, then what must be the derivative of each of these with respect to t? It will be the derivative of these values. r cosine t will be minus r sine t. dy with respect to dt will be the derivative of r sine t, which is r cosine t. I have everything which I need now to bring into the surface area formula. What is the surface area formula? It's the arc length formula with the function attached to it. The surface area formula will be 2 pi from a lower limit, upper limit, the function y with respect to, well, rather than me writing all of this out, it's really with respect to ds, but the ds is equal to what? It's going to be equal to what we have solved right over here or demonstrated here, dx over dt whole square plus dy over dt whole square dt. That's what it's going to be in here. y will be exactly what this is right here. dx over dt will be exactly the values you see here. So the formula and the integral which will give us the surface area of sphere is from 0 to pi because we've limited the domain from 0 to pi. We have a y. y is an r sine t and then have a square root dx over dt was a minus r sine t but square of that is r square sine square t. dy over dt is an r cosine t but the square of that is r square cosine square t all with respect to dt. You just have to work over here you're seeing r square and then sine square t plus cosine square t all of this is equal to a 1, you know, by means of the trigonometric identity. The only thing which remains in the radical is an r square, but you're looking at a square root of r square, which you know is going to be equal to an r. I have a 2 pi r. This r is coming out, 0 to pi r sine t. The first r is this coming from here. The second r is 1 coming from here. You can bring them both out and make it 2 pi r square, and I'll eliminate this. The only thing which remains now is a 2 pi r square 0 to pi sine t. The antiderivative is this minus cosine t from pi and 0. You have a 2 pi r square. You're going to get from right over here a minus cosine of a pi is a minus 1. Minus cosine of a 0 is a positive 1. Here you're getting a minus minus 2 which is a plus 2. This will multiply with this and you'll have a 4 pi r square. And the procedure is completed. The surface area has been determined by using parametric equations where the parameter was t. And you've seen it, x, y from the unit circle, their derivatives, the original arc length formula being modified to include the parameter, and then the surface area formula coming into play and our end result. Thank you. Have a good day.